السلام عليكم ورحمة الله مرحبا بكم مجددا في محاضرة جديدة من سلسلة محاضراتنا المراجعة أسئلة اختبارات البرومتريك Review of Prometric Test Question This is lecture number 29 in maternity and newborn nursing Today we are going to discuss five questions from question number 194 up to question number 198 معكم محمد الثمان يحيى نبدأ مباشرة Question number 194 The nurse is preparing to administer exogenous surfactant to a premature infant who has respiratory distress syndrome. The nurse prepared to administer the medication by which route? The options are number A, interdermal, number B, intertracheal, number C, subcutaneous, number D, intermuscular. وقف الفيديو هنا اختار الخيار اللي بتشوفه سهل. The correct option is option number B, intertracheal. اللي اختم الخيار رقم B نشوف rational. Respiratory distress syndrome is a serious lung disorder caused by immaturity and the inability to produce surfactant resulting in hypoxia and acidosis. It is common in premature infant and may be due to lung immaturity as a result of surfactant deficiency. The backbone of treatment is the administration of exogenous surfactant, which is administered by the intertracheal route. So the correct option is option number B, intertracheal route. Option number A and C and D are not root for administration for this medication. Question number 195. An opioid analgesic is administered to a client in labor. The nurse assigned to care for the client ensure that which medication is readily accessible should respiratory depression occur. The options are number A Alkson, number B, morphine sulfate, number C, betamethadone, number D, hydromorphine hydrochloride. We will begin to the question. The correct option is option number A, Alkson. We will begin the question. We rational. Opoid analgesic may be prescribed to relieve pain associated with labor. Opoid toxicity can occur and causes respiratory depression. Nalxone is an opoid antagonist which reverses the effect of opoid and is given for respiratory depression. So the correct option is option number A. Morphine sulfate and hydromorphine hydrochloride are opoid analgesic. Betamethasone is a corticosteroid administered to enhance fetal lung maturity. Question number 196. Rhodium immunoglobulin is prescribed for a client after delivery and the nurse provides information to the client about the purpose of the medication. The nurse determines that the woman understands the purpose if the woman states that it will protect her next baby from which she condition, the options are number A, having RH positive blood, number B, developing a rubella infection, number C, developing physiological jaundice, number D, being affected by RH incompatibility. We'll go with the next one. The correct option is option number D. ليخترنا الخيار رقم D نشوف rational RH incompatibility can occur when an RH negative mother becomes sensitized to the RH antigen sensitization may develop when an RH negative woman become pregnant with a fetus who is RH positive during pregnancy and at delivery some of the fetus 
are a deposited blood can enter the maternal circulation, causing the mother's immune system to form antibodies against RH positive blood. So administration of RHO or Rhodi immunoglobulin prevent the mother from developing antibodies against RH positive blood by providing passive antibody protection against the RHC anti-G. So the correct option is option number D. Question number 197. Methylglobin is prescribed for a client with postpartum hemorrhage. Before administering the medication, the nurse should contact the healthcare provider who prescribed the medication if which condition is documented in the client medical history. The options are number A, hypotension, number B, hypothyroidism, number C, diabetes mellitus, number D, peripheral vascular disease. The correct option is option number D, peripheral vascular disease. rational. Methyl ergonovine is an ergot alkaloid used to treat postpartum hemorrhage. Ergot alkaloids are contraindicated in clients with significant cardiovascular disease, peripheral vascular disease, hypertension, preeclampsia, or eclampsia, because these conditions are worsened by the vasoconstrictive effects of the ergot alkaloids. So the correct option is option number D, peripheral vascular disease. Option number A, B, and C are not contraindicated related to the use of ergot alkaloid. Question number 198. The nurse is monitoring a client in preterm labor who is receiving intravenous magnesium sulfate. The nurse should monitor for which adverse effects of this medication. The options are number A, hypertension, number B, increased urine output, number C, depressed respiration, number D, diabetes mellitus. The correct option is option number C. Rational. Magnesium sulfate is a central nervous system depressant and relaxes a smooth muscle including the uterus. It is used to stop preterm labor contraction and is used for preeclamptic client to prevent seizure. Adverse effects of this medication include flushing, depressed respiration, depressed deep tender reflex, hypotension, extreme muscle weakness, and decreased urine output in addition to pulmonary edema and elevated serum magnesium loving. So the correct option is option number C, depressed respiration. Shukran jazilan. Don't forget to support us by comment or like or subscribe.